Marrakesh train station. It's looking real good. Real good. Pretty safe. I mean, you come in, you got the guards with the Kalashnikov strapped to their chest, so there ain't going to be no messing around with the tourists here. And this is kind of like a new train station. Um, so they recently remodeled it and kind of, you know, like invested in the tourism industry to get from, you know, Casablanca, Fez, Marrakesh, all the different cities here in Morocco. So we're going to be heading down to Casablanca today. I'm going to have one of the direct trains, first class ticket, and it cost 26 bucks. So not bad at all. The flight from here to Casablanca was like 140. And I mean, this is actually faster than the flight. I don't know how that's possible, but it's faster than the flight. So we're going to take our little day trip down to Casablanca. Maybe show you some sights along the way if we see anything cool and then hit the streets of the Blanca. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm going to miss Marrakesh. This won't be my last time here. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. And this is the 616 direct. This one goes to Fez, too. Wish I would have known. I keep hearing, man, go to Fez, go to Fez. I definitely would have hit that up first, but. We're gonna have a little first class ticket. I mean, this gentleman over here helped me. I was going down the wrong platform and it's gonna be fun. Woo, Casablanca. So we just got off the train right here at Casa Voyagers. And I mean, pretty simple little train ride down. None of the, you know, announcements were in English. They were all in Arabic and French. So just, you know, you know me, Google Maps. You need to sponsor me. Had to use them once again. And we're here, like I mentioned, at the train station. Had a little Moroccan McDonald's finally. Um, didn't want to put that one on camera because, I mean, it's McDonald's. You guys are tired enough to see me eating fast food. So, got a little something different. McDonald's on Chiabatta. Interesting. Uh, you know, French influence around here. And we're already having an issue. So, my Airbnb host, I've asked him six times. And he will not provide me with the address to my location. He will only provide me with a pin drop coordinates. Like, I can give those to a taxi driver. <laughs> Asked them six times. I mean, man, like, dude, seriously, you rent your place, bro. Like, you got to give out the address, man. He's given me, like, landmarks around there and told me to taxi from there and then use the coordinates and walk from there. Utterly ridiculous, man. So, whew, never left a bad Airbnb review before, but might be the first time. So, hopefully, this Casablanca trip gets a little, you know, a little more friendly. Uh, till then, I'll hold judgment. So, we're going to head on down to the Airbnb and check out the surrounding area. Thanks guys for joining me again. Whew, now this looks familiar. It's my little street here. We're staying in the Blanca. I mean, look at this air quality. Wow. Ocean right over there on the other side. You maybe see a little bit over there. I can see it, the water right there. We'll get down there and give it a little go. But man, what an entrance into Casablanca, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I got off of the train station. Um, they don't have Uber here. They have the ride sharing Kareem, which I have used in a few other places and tried to book three separate rides to pick me up from the taxi stand. All three guys refused to come into the taxi stand claiming that it was run by mobsters. Um, said that all the taxi drivers were mobsters and if they were to pull up in there, it wouldn't be nice for them. They'd record their license plate and everything. So fun times entering the city um and you know when i was telling everybody in marrakesh where i was going you know they had a little trepidation like you sure you want to go there and i was like yeah i'd like to see the urban centers i mean how bad could it be but just don't know man so you know like i said they wouldn't pick me up so took one of the mobster taxis um the guy was really friendly i mean i don't know if that's just i don't know i don't think kareem drivers would lie like that and not come and make the money so i think that it's just a matter of they're good guys that's going to take care of you, but they are going to take care of you, if you understand what I'm saying. I mean, the guy got me here, charged 20 more dirhams than the ride share was going to cost. And, of course, the taxi always costs more. So I'm going to go on ahead and say that that one is pretty safe just to take one of those little taxis out front. So I'll show you my nice little Airbnb here. And, I mean, we're in one of the more cleaner areas of Casablanca. And this one's really nice, guys. I mean, you've seen my pricing. This one's one of the more spacious, one of the more, you know, um, anemoteed up. You know, I got a washer dryer this time and everything, a nice sink, a nice uh, bathroom, good little bed, nice terrace views, 39 bucks a night. <laughs> so you can't really beat that. I mean, you know, the cleaner fees and the taxes were a little bit more, but $39 a night for a place to lay your head all alone, that's pretty safe. I mean, can't beat it. 
So there's a few restaurants down here. There's a few other things over that way. I'm going to walk out, give it a little scout, and see what we think of the area. So join me. Casablanca. Let's see if we love it or not. The streets of Casablanca. And like I mentioned, we have a few restaurants here. I think I'll choose one of these little close ones for uh, dinner tonight. And when I first came in, I mean, it was popping out here. Now it's like a ghost town. Chef Ginger Masters. See, got your little Casablanca graffiti over there. We will get a little closer look. And we're on the search for some wata. You know, in these different countries, you got to watch out for the tap water. And here in Casablanca, anywhere in Morocco, really, you want to avoid that tap water. So go down here, hit up a little typical Casablanca store and see what we got. Coming up on one of the main streets here, thoroughfares in the beautiful city of Casablanca. And like I mentioned, ocean's on that side. We're going to head on down to the store. And look, it's pretty chill. Pretty chill. Don't always believe your body's first instincts. <laughs> cool. Nice. Haven't yet spotted another foreigner out here, but I'm sure they're around somewhere. And I mean, look at this street lined with the palm trees. Woo! Tropical vibes. I believe this is a little grocery store right up here. Bin market. Oh, my kind of candy. <laughs> and I mean, all types of different little goodies I've never had before up in this store. Wonderful. It's a pretty cool place. Prayer time outside. And let me show you this little drink section right fast. It's pretty cool. Look at all these choices that are new to Jay. Oh, yes. Delicious. Tropical. Holy shit, guys. Look at this bag. And I mean, this bag's about eight pounds. <laughs> 29 dirhams, $2.90, and I mean, that's even cheaper than freaking Romania when I was in them mountains. My goodness gracious. This is gonna be wonderful. Casablanca, pretty chill. Just wanted to come out here, like I said, and get my eyes on and get the vibe, and I think it's just fine. Dumped off into this little Cafe Austin space. Um, right here off the little main strip that we're staying at. And we're going to have us a little Moroccan tea here in Casablanca. See how it compares. This tea, 10 dirhams, $1 for the pot. Absolutely wonderful. Ooh, that was a good one, super hot. My boy just made it fresh. Some chill little spot. Looks like they got three different levels. Have a little bit of food, but mostly, you know, cafe au lait, things of that nature. Good start here. Kind of embarrassed that I was having them, you know, negative feelings at first, but happens to everybody sometimes, right? <laughs> cool spot. Oh, that Tito. That's what we needed. And like I said, air quality. The cab driver said it was fog, so I might be incorrect, but I mean, this fog is at 5 p.m. and it's covering the whole city. And that's the little ocean front over there. We'll check that out tomorrow. Hopefully have a fun little video. Came down here looking for a vape shop. It said they had a little vape shop slash cigarette shop, and I don't know. It wasn't where it was supposed to be, but come back around this corner and see for ourselves. Maybe that's it up there where everybody's standing. The hustle and bustle of Casablanca. You didn't get to get that vape shop. And I was giving directions to a cigarette shop, but unfortunately it's closed at the moment. So, yeah. Fun times, guys. Just walking through this little strip right here. I mean, all types of choices to eat. I found a nice little breakfast spot down there. We'll do a vlog in. And whew, you know, when I'm always in these countries, we're going to do a historic Casablanca tour so we'll be heading down to more a couple of the more famous mosques in the area um, won't be able to gain entrance into them except for one but should be a pretty fun time guys I mean whew, I'm gonna go drop off these groceries hopefully my ice cream cone isn't melted and 
kind of let y'all see the bounty end and show you exactly what three dollars us thirty dollars durhams get you here in casablanca motorcycle shop Woo i miss you lilith coming back to ride you girl that was a little cafe we had that delicious moroccan tea in what a day what a first day cool get us a little closer vantage of this graffiti here you know nothing too amazing but just like to record all the different little graffiti and all these different little countries I'm sure we'll find some real legitimate work here soon still loving it here it is my grocery bounty and i know it's all junk food but i'm not gonna cook here i'm gonna go out to eat delicious casablanca food but i mean what's that six drinks three sweets like i mentioned 30 dirhams three dollars can't beat it and i mean even that cup of tea nice cup of tea decent little cafe to chill in 10 dirhams i mean it's amazing prices you know i kind of always double up the tip gave the guy a 20. He was happy so fun times here in Casablanca so you know like I said I just got here I'm gonna unpack do my thing and then we hit the streets for a little dinner first time dinner in Casablanca looking forward to it so many different restaurants down there mm. let's go Casablanca after dark <laughs> oh man sat in that house a little too long didn't know it was gonna get you know just this dark out here yet um, kind of wanted to have a little light for this video but left it at home so i'm gonna head down here just to this main thoroughfare again haven't picked out a restaurant yet but we'll pick one out together time to eat we made our way into the damascus what a place this will be a little taste of local syrian food and the menu very well very well thank you so many choices but i think we're gonna go with the shawarma Try that here out. Try that. I don't normally show the bathrooms, but I mean, thought if there was one that was worthy. Wow. This place. And I mean, they had two levels, so they got a little fancier seating up here. This is great. A little private bar here with the typical Moroccan seating around it. Man, oh man. Looking forward to this one. Shawarma, first time here. Oh man, I am digging this vibe. And if the food is half as good as the atmosphere, I'm gonna be a happy little boy. Dude, this place was fancy. The Arabian Coke in the glass bottle. Cheers, everyone. They do have alcohol available here. He gave me the alcohol menu, said it's fairly priced, and it really was four or three dollars for a cocktail, but just not feeling that tonight. You need to get a good night's rest. Happy J time in Casablanca. <laughs> and I mean, guys, service with a smile, fast as can be, and look at this cute little meal. Come on, guys. That lamb shawarma. Oh, baby. Go ahead and just give that one a little go -see. Shorn, shorn. Oh, I think that's the macaque bread. I've had this one at a shop in Richmond, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's the truth. That's the honest truth right there. Delicious. Wonderful, my friend. Very good. Harissa? No. And I'll get some. Thank you very much. Just service on deck. Mm. Have to leave my man a good tip. That's service right there. Mm. A little basket. Yeah, a little basket fries. <laughs> Fun first little meal here. I mean, absolutely stunned by the beauty of this place. And I mean, the master guys went in Casablanca. Come on down. Meal time. Mm. So happy. Say this isn't the vibe. Say it isn't the vibe. I dare you. <laughs> I'm telling you, this right here is the absolute best shawarma I've ever had in my life. Hands down. No contest. No freaking 
See the shawarma there? Could have got a mix with the chicken or the lamb. Sorry. <laughs> Try to keep everybody out of the shot. Just tremendous. Tremendous little place here. Damascus. This is it. What a friendly place. Uh, had a few people come over with their phones, you know, asking, did I have YouTube? Did I have Instagram? Yes, I do. Please. God, I'd love if you follow along. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna give this place, Damasca, you know, we're gonna put it in a really, really good light. Um, right here on the main strip, I wish I knew the name of it. I will put it into the video, you have to check it out. But basically, we are in the Borgogni area of Casablanca. And like I said, right next to the Cornici, the uh, Grand Hassan Mosque, right down the way as well. So, he's gonna bring us a little Turkish tea. And we're gonna try out that, um, really love the Moroccan one, and he said you gotta try this one on the house. So. Fun times, guys. Fun times. Oh, Turkish tea time. She gave me two sugar packets. We're gonna go with one at first because when I poured it in there, it was just so much damn sugar. Let's taste it with one pack. Turkish tea. Cheers for the second time. Ooh. It's a good one. It's got a little red hue to it. <laughs> this place just can't get any better. Absolutely. Wow. I think that's what we're going to call it quits, guys. Um, you know, amazing first day here in Casablanca, Morocco. Um, exceeded my expectations so well already. Can't wait to get out there tomorrow and see a little bit of the historic side of Morocco. And man, just absolutely wonderful vacation here. We've got about four more days. I wish I had 44 more days, but unfortunately we don't. And that's going to be all for it. I'm going to finish my little tea here. Take a little night stroll through Casablanca to get back to my place and pick up a job tomorrow in another quality vlog from here in Casablanca.